Now for a look at the state of the chip sector ahead of NVIDIA's highly anticipated earnings report later this month. Well, we're almost two years into U.S. restrictions on companies like NVIDIA and their ability to sell advanced AI processors into China. And China's, of course, trying to respond to this by uh, building their own high-end AI chips. Smartphones, refrigerators, cars, fighter jets. What links them all? Advanced semiconductors. These tiny chips, often called the brains of modern technology, power a $574 billion industry that's set to exceed a trillion dollars by the decade's end. But now they've become a flashpoint in a battle between two global superpowers, the United States and China. The U.S. has imposed strict limits on China's access to cutting-edge AI chips, hoping to slow Beijing's technological ambitions. Yet, as these chips grow ever more advanced, with transistors now as small as a single DNA strand, many are asking, is it too little too late? These chips are vital to the AI applications shaping the future, but their scarcity could redefine the playing field. So how did semiconductors become the battleground of a technological showdown? And what are the potential implications for companies like NVIDIA caught in the middle of it all? Let's find out. The battle. Semiconductors are everywhere, fueling the gadgets we rely on daily, from cell phones to cars, laptops, and even kitchen appliances. But it's their role in artificial intelligence that has the United States on edge. AI is quickly becoming a defining force across industries, with transformative implications for everything from healthcare to national defense. The U.S. government is working to block China's access to the advanced chips that power these technologies. Officials argue this isn't just about competition, it's about security. They aim to prevent these cutting-edge tools from enhancing China's military capabilities an issue that looms larger as tensions rise between the two global powers. For the U.S., maintaining its technological advantage is a cornerstone of its defense strategy, especially as China continues to expand its arsenal of ships, planes, and missiles. Complicating matters, China's civil military fusion system erases the line between private industry and government military projects. This means chips sold for commercial purposes can find their way into military systems, strengthening China's armed forces. The U.S. is now trying to rewrite the rules of the game, ensuring its own advancements in semiconductors and microelectronics don't fuel a rival's military ambitions. The fallout of a tech war, however, the economic ripple effects of this tech standoff are already being felt. U.S. companies that supply China with chip-making tools and materials, like Applied Materials and LAM Research, have taken a financial hit. Billions of dollars in revenue are on the line as export restrictions tighten. Yet some firms have found ways to navigate these challenges. Take NVIDIA, for example. Known for its high-performance AI chips, the company initially sidestepped restrictions by producing slightly less advanced versions that skirted U.S. export limits. These chips fell just below the thresholds for computing power and memory bandwidth, making them legal to sell in China. But new rules introduced in October 2023 have closed this loophole. The Biden administration's expanded restrictions now cover nearly every data center, or GPU NVIDIA sells to China, along with products from AMD and Intel. Meanwhile, NVIDIA has downplayed the immediate financial impact of these restrictions, but acknowledged they could disrupt product development and force operational changes. But the ripple effects are already starting to show. In the short term, these controls could force the company to cancel billions of dollars in chip orders destined for China in the coming year. While demand for NVIDIA's cutting-edge technology remains high globally, the long-term picture is less certain. If China's access to U.S. chips continues to shrink, the market for companies like NVIDIA may follow suit. But the concerns go beyond lost sales. Industry leaders are warning that tighter restrictions could backfire, accelerating China's drive for self-sufficiency in semiconductor production. A scenario where Chinese-made chips dominate global markets isn't out of the question, especially as Beijing doubles down on its domestic chip industry in response to U.S. sanctions. The real question looming over American tech giants is whether China's efforts to design out foreign suppliers might soon render them irrelevant. A glimpse of this future came in August 2023, when Huawei, a major Chinese tech player, unveiled the Mate 60 Pro. This smartphone featured an advanced 7 nanometer chip produced by China's Semiconductor Manufacturing International Corporation, SMIC. 
The debut caused a stir as both Huawei and SMIC are on the U.S. entity list, a trade blacklist meant to block access to American technologies. How these companies manage such a breakthrough despite restrictions has raised eyebrows in Washington. While Huawei's achievement is significant, it's important to note that it falls short of global standards. For example, Apple's iPhone 15 Pro, released the same year, boasts a cutting-edge 3-nanometer chip manufactured by Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, TSMC. The smaller the nanometer size, the more powerful and efficient the chip, giving TSMC a decisive edge over SMC. This disparity highlights the effectiveness of U.S. sanctions in slowing China's progress. Analysts argue that Huawei's reliance on 7-nanometer chips is a step backward in a highly competitive market. If they had the option, Huawei would almost certainly use more advanced technology. Still, this isn't a complete victory for the U.S. Huawei's breakthrough demonstrates that while export controls can delay China's advancements, they can't stop them entirely. The race for dominance in artificial intelligence and semiconductor technology is far from over, and the stakes couldn't be higher. For now, it remains a contest of innovation and resilience between two of the world's superpowers. So what's next in the U.S.-China tech war? The old rules no longer apply. With artificial intelligence and semiconductors at the heart of the conflict, both Washington and Beijing recognize that AI is not just another innovation, it's the most consequential development in military and technological affairs in nearly a century. China sees AI as its chance to leapfrog U.S. military capabilities, and that ambition has made this an escalating competition, one neither side is willing to lose. But AI simply isn't just about innovation. It's about influence, power, and security. And with chips being the engines driving AI, semiconductors have become the battlefield. U.S. policymakers have drawn a hard line, determined to keep the most advanced semiconductor technology out of China's hands, particularly if it could end up fueling the Chinese military. But this isn't a fight that ends with one set of sanctions or export controls. It's a long-term competition, with both nations adjusting their strategies as the stakes climb higher. For companies caught in the middle, the balancing act is delicate. They're working to serve all the customers they can within legal boundaries while staying vigilant for new restrictions that could redefine their markets overnight. The geopolitical landscape is shifting fast and businesses must adapt just as quickly. But for American policymakers, the priority is clear. Protecting national security comes first, even if it means reshaping the global tech industry in the process. China, meanwhile, isn't standing still. It's doubling down on building a self-reliant semiconductor sector and advancing its AI capabilities, despite U.S. sanctions. The growing tech war is accelerating a divide between a U.S.-led technological ecosystem and a parallel one dominated by China. This bifurcation could reshape everything from how AI systems are developed to which companies control the future of advanced computing. In an industry where progress is measured in nanometers and breakthroughs happen overnight, the central question is, who can innovate faster? Governments on both sides have demonstrated a willingness and ability to force businesses to prioritize security over profits. Firms accustomed to global markets now face a new reality where geopolitics dictates their business models. For American companies, staying ahead of China isn't just about maintaining market share. It's about denying an authoritarian regime access to the tools it could use to outpace the U.S. militarily. Yet the U.S. lead is razor thin. While it's still ahead in key areas, that advantage is shrinking as China ramps up its investments in innovation and infrastructure. Maintaining this edge requires constant effort and focus. The luxury of pausing, even briefly, doesn't exist. For U.S. companies, staying ahead is a necessity now. If China achieves its goals at the pace it desires, the consequences could reverberate across industries and borders. The tech war isn't just a challenge for businesses. It's a crucial moment for the balance of power in the 21st century. That's all for today. What's your take on this? Share your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.